John. John, you are going to visit a world-famous gambling casino. In order to do that, we're going to use gambling casino chips. And I have collected almost 50 of them from every major casino, from Atlantic City to Las Vegas, Reno, Tahoe, and uh, perhaps one or two from Monte Carlo. Uh, you all look like a hungry bunch. Anybody here going to Vegas soon? Yeah. Who? You are? Here. Uh, this is, oh, uh, here. A little souvenir. Got it? Which hotel is that from? Hilton. The Hilton? The Flamingo? Flamingo Hilton? Flamingo, yeah. yeah. You all, you know, you have a collector's item there. The Flamingo was the first casino to open in Las Vegas. That's right. And do you know who built the Flamingo Hotel? Who? No, no, no. Warren Beatty. <laughs> no, no. Oh, well, it doesn't make any difference. But we have, we have chips here from the MGM, the Desert Inn, the Mirage. In fact, we've got close to 50 of them. John, I'll tell you what I want you to do. I want you to take and shake up this uh, container of chips. And listen carefully. After you've, you've got them well mixed, I want you to close your eyes, reach into the container, remove one chip, and place it in your coat pocket, in your right-hand coat pocket. You want me to close my eyes? Close your eyes when you, when you pick it out. I don't want you to influence yourself in any way. Put it in, immediately in your right-hand coat pocket. Don't let anybody see it. Okay. You may hand the young lady those. There. John, you now have selected a casino. The only question now is how much money are you willing to wager? <laughs> Didn't bring much with you. No. no, I'm going to take care of that because we have right here $50,000 in imaginary money. Remember, this is an imaginary trip, John, that we're taking here. $50,000. I'm going to ask you to determine exactly how much you are going to wager. And here's how we're going to do that. Take the uh, envelope in one hand, John, right. and in your other hand, I want you to cut off as much of that pile of $50,000 as you feel like, and then seal it in that envelope. It's self-sealing, so just pull up the flap. Okay. That's right. And do that while my back is turned. I don't want to know how many bills that you have sealed in that envelope. We'll keep that for a surprise. Later on, we'll find out just how big a sport John really is. <laughs> Okay, have you done that? Yeah, yeah, Put yeah. that in your inside coat pocket, John, so it's out of the way. Well, we finally get down to the moment of truth. By the way, did you notice this little envelope? I want you to make a special point of this. At no time have I touched that envelope other than just saying this little envelope, but I haven't taken out the contents at any time. John, we're going to play a game, and this is what I want you to do. Hold out your hand. I'm going to ask you to deal cards into my hand one at a time, yeah. just like you're the dealer, okay? And I'll play John. Okay. Deal them face down in the, in the palm of my hand, just like that. And any time that you want, you may stop at any time today. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. I'm only kidding. You, you, okay. All right. All right. You satisfied with yeah. that? Okay. I want you to take this card. This one? Yeah. And we'll put it down right here, okay? okay? Now, I want you to start dealing cards face up onto this pile, face up. Okay. And once again, so that you can see the face of each and every card as you're dealing. They're all different from one another, is yeah. that correct? Yes. Okay. And at any time that you like, you may stop once again. Oh. The choice okay. is entirely yours. Right I want you to deal the next card face up on top of that face down card. Okay. Have you done that? Yeah. We can dispense with the rest of the cards. I want you to take and place these two cards in this pocket right up here. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. I haven't influenced anything, is that correct? Everything has been on the up and up. John selected one casino out of close to 50. He determined how much money he was going to wager, and then he finished it off by dealing himself one hand of blackjack, and he did that on his own, even looking at the cards as he dealt them. John, do me a favor, would you open up that envelope, please? You are not gonna believe What's going to happen here? May I have that, please? Yeah. John, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to read this aloud. But before I do, I want you to take out the chip that you selected and hold that in your hand. Okay. Read along with me. I, Larry Becker, predict that on this date, a randomly selected audience volunteer will visit Harrah's Hotel and Casino. Is that correct? 
Yes, it is. It's Harris. Harris? Yeah, it's Harris. <laughs> Amazing. Wager thirty-six thousand dollars on one hand of blackjack. Do you have do you have the envelope? Yeah. Would you take that? Would you open that up? And and, and wow. What what a greedy what a greedy guy we got here. Would you carefully count those bills one at a time out loud? Okay. One, one two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Oh. <laughs> really strange. And win the, read this, and win the game. With a score of 20. You have two cards in your pocket, you dealt to yourself. Would you show it to the audience? What is it? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much.